Hey, welcome back, Rogue Techers. Welcome to Deidre's Den. And uh, we're up, out still out here on the edge of the periphery um, near the Circinus Federation. Um, I'm just going to jump right into this today. Um, we're going to go to the contracts and we are going to take on this hot landing contract for the for Haus Steiner. So, um, satellite surveillance pictures show that a heavy lance was inserted onto the planet's surface by a local government dropship. Currently, we believe they're securing their LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. Before they finish securing the area, we'd like you to interrupt them. They're heavily armed, so expect strong resistance. I'm hoping we get some strong resistance. So we're going to negotiate this, and we're going to go for maximum salvage. We're okay for the month. We're doing fine. we got a lot of time before the end of the month is, is coming up, so we're going to go with a full set of salvage. And uh, this one we're going to have to uh, be careful with. We're at one and a half skulls for our lance, but this is a three skull mission, so um, we're going to have to play this one smart. So we're going to confirm this and get right into combat. All right, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. Now our lance is up here that we got to fight face. So we got two choices. One, we can head over this way. We can use the uh, mineral deposits here to screw up their sensors, or we can head down this way, head in more in towards the water and stay nice and cool. Um, but I'm thinking. If there's reinforcements, they're going to be coming from this side. So I'm thinking that what I want to do is head down this way just to stay out of range and out of view. Um, so let's actually reserve back to turn one like we normally do. All right. So let's take our height, who's going to definitely benefit from being in water. We're going to take them right down to the water. We're going to see what we're up against here. Bandit. So I'm hoping, I checked before we came down. Uh, we have six cataract parts and we have um, six wolverine parts. I'm hoping we can find one or the other, a dragon. Uh, stock dragon loadout. Looks like a couple of vehicles and probably one more thing somewhere. I don't know if we're going to get what we need out of this uh, this mission here. Okay. What's up, boss? Support mech, Bane Skater next. I'm gonna move him down. Looks like he's gonna Come be able back. to target. I can give you that. Let's just attack this guy. Light machine gun and a tag, why not? Yeah man, we drew first blood. At least we can say that. Yes, okay, flatliner. I'm going to put him up here in the forest. Let's move. And we're going to use our LRMs in the dragon. Looks like our ER mediums will be able to use as well, but um, I think I'll leave this one off for now just to stay heat neutral. A little bit of damage just to tell them that we're here. Wait, is this a Grand Dragon? Just a regular Dragon, 60 tons. Ready for orders. Not sure why he's going... Oh, right, because he reserved back to turn one. I was... <laughs> I thought there for a second he was a heavier mech. Okay. And we're going to protect our left side, which is where our PPC is. And we're going to fire... going to leave the rocket launchers off, I think, for this... Well, 52% is pretty good. He hasn't moved yet, so let's fire everything. Roger. PPC hit, nice. A few rockets hit, eh. Should be unstable, yep. He's gonna be barbecued next turn, so we're not worried about him right now. Yeah, good luck hitting height. Another vehicle, crap. Really? Really hoping for a Lance of Heavy Max. Okay, he's not coming close enough. Shoot. 
That guy's got to go. I'm losing armor bad. Yeah, I can see that. All right. Um, Ready for order. We got to see what these guys are. So we're moving in. Firm. Find out who we can identify as our biggest threat here. The tiger with an AC-10 double plus. Not a lot of armor. He can probably go down hard. Belladonna, laser. Okay, this guy's got clan gear. Cool. At least this is a clan large laser. Nice. Clan LRM-10, clan flamer. Cool. Um, he's got okay armor. We're going to target this guy with this mech. We're going to fire everything. Hopefully hit with something. Come on, man. At least a tag hit. Okay. Round zero. Going to move forward. And I am going to target that... This guy right here. The Belladonna. Let's get rid of this guy. Nice. He had a lot of accuracy. We need him gone. One more for the trash. Yep. And Height's going to move forward. We're going to sprint it. And we're going to come right up beside. We'll be able to see that guy from here. So we're going to come right up to this guy. And we should be able to shut him down now. All flamers should be able to hit. Our heat is like zero now, just standing in the water. Shoot, only three hits. That's opening us up for a uh, melee attack. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contact inbound. Well, that's a little better. That's a lot of missiles. Chances are those are rockets from somebody. And that's a medium guy. And he's vanished. Okay. Waiting for orders. Don't need to move very much with Flatliner. Uh, what do we got here? Marsden, AC-10, machine gun, and lots a lot of armor. This guy's got a lot less, so we're going to shoot right on this guy and hopefully kill him using both uh, ER mediums. Nice. Okay. Now we just have to worry about that dragon. So, what we're going to do now next turn is ground zero and flatliner are going to move down off the hill. I really didn't think there was going to be reinforcements on this one, but I'm kind of glad there is. It gives us more opportunity for better salvage. Okay, it's all those misses. And this dragon's going to... If I was in my melee. He is. Just not the guy I thought he would melee. Nice. You're definitely going to melt next turn though, buddy. You have no good heat management there. So let's do that. Let's just make sure we shut this guy down this turn. I got you. All weapons, go. And he's shut down. So now we can take our time legging this guy. So we're going to move, uh, like I said, we're going to move ground zero. Um, we're going to want to get a side shot on this guy. Not going after that vehicle just yet. He's pretty inaccurate so far. Um, and we're going to come around here. We're going to try and leg him on this side. Ugh, torso hit. At least the pilot's injured. Yeah, I know, but you kind of did the wrong thing, buddy. Need something, Chief? Um, yes, I need you to move and get some evasion going. I'm going to move like that, I think. Then you can target this guy's... Oh, jeez, what's the CT got left? 70... I uh, hope I don't kill him. Uh, let's change that. Let's try for a head hit. If we get a head hit and a knockdown then we're good. Should be pretty close. I didn't see head hit. He's being knocked down though. Oh, torso's gone? Oh, he bailed. Nice. Alright, we maximize the salvage from that guy. Okay, so that's a lot of missiles. My guess is that there's a, ca a catapult there. 
We need to kill that tank fast. We gotta force them to come to come down here and face us. Got it, Commander. Everything on this guy, please. Two hits. I don't think we'll have enough to kill him. But at least we got a good start on him. Shoot. Light damage holding firm. 42 is not light damage, buddy. Yeah, we really need to hit this guy hard. Let's see what he does here. Barely moved. And that's it. Okay, good. First thing first, we need to get ground zero into the water here. And on my way, double time. We're gonna shoot this guy. Excellent chances to hit. Our heat's dropping. Just not enough. Missiles should be able to do it next turn. Confirmed. So height. I mean I could use vehicle flamers against them too, right? Or use these flamers against All them. Right. At least if we can blind this guy after this turn. Firing. Come on. Well. 78 damage. Maybe Vane Skater can finish up here. We want to keep his left side towards the enemy because his right side Not leg got bad. hit. And let's see if we can finish this guy up so they don't kill us here. Let's see how you like this. Nice. So. That Goss mag shot, it's like missing like almost every time. Thinking we're going to pull that off. Alright, we're going to reserve. No need for us to move. We want to draw them in. Um, the more you can get them to come into uh, a funnel, coming down this road. If they come down one at a time, everybody can shoot them at once. And we'll use the terrain to our advantage here. Basically trying to uh, nullify any chance they have of hitting us. So we're just going to move... Um, I think what we'll do... Stay in the water, but we'll stay behind this uh, stone pillar here. Just brace so they can't see us. And once again, we're just going to reserve. For the shot. We're okay on evasion. Let them come to us. Wolverine. Okay, cool. We gotta try and get as many parts from this guy as we can. Hopefully we get the win the uh, um, RNG lottery and we can uh, get, a, get a two parts of this Wolverine so we can upgrade our lance. That's probably a catapult. No? What is that? That's probably the catapult. No? What had all the missiles then? That's interesting. We're going to be going before them, so I don't mind moving straight in on these guys to find out what we're up against here. So this is a Grand Dragon. Goss Double Plus PPC. Oh my god. Lousy chances to hit, but we're going to fire everything. we got to try and kill these guys fast. Um. We need to get to a point where those guys can't see us. These guys over here, that is. Want to keep our right side closer to them. Um, Wolverine is not full strength. I think he's not even a threat right now. This guy's the threat. We gotta fire everything on this guy. Ugh, can't miss with that PPC guy. Can't miss with it. 
Okay, you'll be going before the Grand Dragon again. What do we got here? Really bad chances to hit, but we gotta take it. Everything on this guy. Okay, so... This guy's really evasive too, right? We're doing some good damage on his side here. So let's keep that up. Um, we're going to melt back into the distance. Um, we want to keep their closer range weapons away from us, since a lot of us, with the exception of height, have long range weapons. Well, two of us do. Um, we're going to pull back a bit. Lower our chances to hit for sure, but... It also means half of their weapons won't be able to fire at us. Um... So if you pull back, all you got is the light machine gun, but we need to sprint. We need as much evasion as possible here. And do this. Really low chances to hit, but we're going to fire everything. Wow, finally the Goss mag shot hits. Not that it does a lot of damage, but at least it hit. Um, now, here's my dilemma. I guess I can't really go up there. So Height's going to have to give up his turn. He's going to move over here and we're going to fortify. Okay, that's a medium mech back there. Trebuchet, probably. That's a lot of missiles. Okay, we can't be anywhere near here then. Yeah, I see that. Ready for order. Um... Okay, you gotta hit this guy a lot. Come on. Confirmed. Well, we blew through his armor. Crap. I think we went way, up, way above our level here. Alright, so now we definitely need to limit their direct fire capability. That uh, trebuchet is just too much of a uh, scary target. Or a scary um, weapon platform. And we're going to have to take a few risks here. Grand Dragon. Lock it off with all weapons. So he should be shut down now. No, what is this guy? A black knight? Are you serious? I think we're going to have to pull out of this mission. I'm ready. Moving to position. Okay, Grand Dragon shut down. Um, going for a headshot. We'll probably take his leg off at the same time. There's the leg gone. No head hit. Head Knocked head. down. I was really hoping for a... Uh, really hoping for a um, head hit there. So we know who's getting the flamers next turn. Let's kill, we kill this guy. Nice. Okay, one problem down. Tango down. Confirm. Affirmative. 
Let's try and shut this Black Knight down. Uh, going to fire with everything because that guy didn't do anything last turn. Okay. We had to make sure we shut him down, though. Okay, you gonna melee? Okay, Yushka. That's why he's causing such a problem. He's got LRM20s. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Well. We got LRM15s, and he's got almost no armor here, right? Six, 400 and some odd. <sighs> If we get Wolverine parts out of this, it'll be totally worth it. Oh, don't melee. Please don't melee. Miss. Crap. 70 points damage. Okay. Let's shut him down again. We can lose two flamers. Should be able to shut him down. Yep. Nope, not quite, but almost. He can't really do anything though. Good to go. Um I can't turn my left side to that other other guys here. Let's do this. Maybe we can one-shot this Wolverine in the back. How much armor does he have? Almost nothing. So, if we do an offensive push on his CT, let's hope we get him. Right torso, okay. Alright, that's that problem. This Katyushka is going to fire though. Okay, not shooting at the guy I thought he was going to shoot at, but that's fine. I'm under heavy fire. Uh, I see that. Order. Okay, we're going to vig Vigilance, and then we're going to move into a direct line of fire with that guy up there. Rolling. And we're going to exchange blows with this guy. Now let's see what they do here. Okay. My armor's breached. It sure is. Is he gonna shoot? No. Okay. Waiting for order. First thing we gotta do. Let's take care of that Katyushka. So let's fire straight on him. Okay. Um, this guy's got significant heat still. So let's double down on these two guys. And we'll put... Actually, we, we don't have... Oh, right, we don't. Shoot. Got to put three flamers on this guy. Okay, so that's the end of his turn. Commander? Uh, going to back up. And we're going to unload in the cat Yushka again. Here it comes. Goes to the right torso with the missile launcher. Didn't get the arm though. A critical hit. But maybe that might think make him think twice about. Uh, yep, he's making him think twice. I prefer the indirect fire, although he is hitting pretty well with that. Just worried about this Wolverine now. I don't want him to melee us. Oh shoot. Ah. <sighs> okay. That was really bad. 
Omec power up At least it's not the left side. Yes, Commander. I can't sprint, so that's what we have to do. And we're going to shoot this guy straight in the back because screw him. PPC, hopefully that's going to be enough. I can't overheat here in the water. Putting one in the back. That's not enough. Really? Scored a critical hit. Was that a leg hit? What was that? It was a leg hit. Okay, I do have to go against this guy. I can't let him fire. And of course you're gonna melee. That's fine, as long as you miss. So now I can take care of that Wolverine. Okay, so the Wolverine is damaged significantly on the right side. So this is where we're going to put Flatliner. Um, or do we put him on the back? How badly damaged is his back? We got to blow through in the torso. CT. No, I'm thinking that we got to be right on his side. We don't have the movement though, really. Well, we're going to do that. It's going to be hard to hit with the missiles, but we're going to unload everything. Let's do it all. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Are you kidding me? Solid connection on that one. Maybe he'll run again. Come on, you want to run. You know you do. Yeah, just run away. Standing by. Okay. Moving to position. I'm missing a ton of heat sinks now. Oh, come on, you gotta die, buddy! Hey uh, let's stay mobile here as much as we can. Still giving okay. us a 90 some odd percent chance to hit. Uh, we'll just go with three, just keep here them overheated. Go. This guy's gonna melee again, really? Okay. So, is he out of LRM ammo? Is that why he's milling? Probably. No, he's got ammo. Um, I'm receiving you. Flatliner with multi-target. Primitive. And we're going to target this guy. And we're going to target this guy. And we're going to put. Um, well, it's really low chance on B, eh? Those guys on A, this missile launcher on B, and this on A. we got to make sure we kill the Wolverine. Oh. Fusion core crit, okay. Critical hit. I'm out of long -range missiles. I know. He's still trying to flee. Oh no. Okay, I thought he was going to melee there for a second. Commander. Let's see if I can kill that cat, Yushka. One good PPC hit should do it. 
Yep. Okay, that problem is solved. Enemy down. Confirm. This problem. Uh, we should be able to shut him down with three. Lots of damage too. Nice. Okay, he's shut down. Tied up. Okay, he's probably going to shoot. No, what? Does he not have any weapons? He's got the medium laser and stuff. Why is he not using it? SRM-6 and ammo? Like, I don't understand why he's not shooting anything. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Hmm. I was thinking about doing a called shot there, but there's no point at this at this juncture. Battle mech power up detected. Good to go. On it. Okay. Once again, hopefully we have enough heat to shoot the PPC. No, we don't. Back to the ER medium. Aye, aye. <sighs> oh man. Doesn't need to move now. We can fire four. I'm on him. We'll end up blowing this guy up just with uh, heat alone. Reporting. Critical hit. What is that guy doing? Ready for orders. It's like he doesn't understand what the water is. Got it, Commander. At least knock him down. Come on. Yeah, there's the right leg destroyed. Critical hit, Commander. Two of four. Okay. He's trying to make it to the water. <laughs> He's like, screw this. I'm just, uh, the heat. I need to get in the water. Not today, buddy. Today we barbecue. Now I can use my PPC. Uh, but I'm going to reserve because I want to see a flatliner can kill this guy with the uh, medium lasers. I don't want to CT him though. See if we can get his leg. Oh, he ejected. Perfect. So we do have a chance to get Wolverine pieces. Yes, um, no need to move on this one. I'm just going to stay here. ERPPC. And we're going to shoot for the head. Maybe we get lucky and blow his head off. Taking the shot. Nope. Battle mech power up detected. And it's just going to be a cycle of shutdown and rinse repeat. I'm on. Wow, why does he keep missing with such a good chance to hit? Really? Critical hit. Okay. Um standing by. Offensive push. Making a chance for the head. Medium laser. It's been tagged. He's panicking. Flatliner. Offensive push. Trying for the headshot again. 79% chance to hit. That looked like a headshot. Sure was. Taking one right in the face. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess he had to try something. All right, let's get you on this guy again. Just walk over there. Don't want to go too fast. Barbecue. Don't want to blow him up. Won't matter though. Yep, yeah, that's him. All right, let's see if we lost that mech. I don't consider losing a mech successful. 
But if you think about it, we were facing, we had three lights and a medium. We were facing, what, three heavy vehicles. Uh, one, two medium mechs and three heavy mechs. So not bad to just, I mean, we lost a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff to lose. Um, we didn't do too bad. We lost some double heat sinks, ECM warfare suite. Ugh. Yeah, we took some some uh, major knocks here. Um, trebuchet came out okay, which was good. Flamer unit came out okay. At least we didn't take too much uh, horrible damage here. So let's see what we can get for this potential for dragon parts, black knight part. Um, Katyushka maybe. Well, lots of Wolverine parts here because he punched out, so hopefully we get two. That would be nice. But let's see what we can do here. We're going to take the clan uh, large laser because this thing does 60 for 35 heat, so that's good. Um, what else did we lose? The clan LRM 10 is a possibility. Uh, Pipa C triple plus. 35 heat. What is this? Plus 10 damage, minus 1 recoil. Times two stability minus five heat. That's actually a really good weapon. Drop it there for now. Um, what we're looking for stuff that we can either sell. Artemis system. This would be very very handy on the uh, trebuchet. Whew, let's take that. Let's leave this PPC out. The reason why the clan large laser is four tons, and it's pretty much the same damage and the same heat for this P as the PPC. PPC does more, way more stability, um, but this guy's just so much lighter. Three tons is like a lot, right? Uh, I don't know. No, let's just take those. I was going to take the large fusion core for money, but because uh, we're going to need it after our repairs. But I think I'll take what we've got here. SRM dead for fire ammo too. That's pretty good. But we don't have any, S any SRM boats, so let's confirm that we got one Wolverine piece. Oh, just short. Okay, AC10 large laser. Do we get the engine? No, not a lot we can sell. But. Um, Hey, Circinus Federation took uh, Deidre's Den from the Free Worlds League. Nice. 227,000. Nah. So we succeeded in one of our tasks, flipping this back to the Circinus Federation, which was one of our goals. But, um, oh, the Panther, we didn't get it. it didn't, we didn't lose it. Oh my god, I thought for sure we were going to lose that mech. But we have ridiculous amounts of repairs here. Oh my god. So that's a sigh of relief. Um, I'm shocked that Vainskater didn't take any injuries from that uh, that damage there, but um, yeah. you're speaking to Yang in the mech bay when the yelling starts. Across the bay, a pair of your mech warriors face off in front of a battle mech. You get there just as, as Height pulls back to throw a punch at payroll. I'm going to send them to settle things in the simulators, because we can. You raise your voice, at, and both mech warriors turn to you, height fists relaxing. If you mech warriors have a dispute, go settle it in the mech, in the battle pods. Frankly, you both need to practice. I don't know. Well, you know what? Height did have a really high percentage chance to hit with that with all of his flamers, and he kept missing one. The, battle, the uh, mech warriors grumble and wander off. You hear later from Yang that the sim battle between Height and Payroll drew a huge crowd. Those warriors both treated their sim battle like a real war boss. And by the end of it, I think they kind of forgot what they were fighting about. So they both gained 100 experience. So that's kind of a bonus. Alright, five days, and then we can see what our uh, damage is going to be here. We're going to have so much refitting to do. Okay, Mech Bay. And we really didn't get what we wanted out of this either. So the Panther 9L. Oh. Lost our ECM warfare suite. So let's repair things first. So that's going to cost us 6,600 in five days. That's not bad. So we lost two double heat sinks. 
in an ECM warfare suite. And I don't think we have the ability to repair those, replace those. We do have the ECM warfare. Okay, cool. So that's that. I don't think we have double heat sinks though. No, we have regular heat sinks, which we can drop in, I guess, for now. Let's switch the sides. I think. Why did that get chucked out of there? So we're going to do it this way. I mean, the other thing we can do is pull up the tag and heat efficiency is pretty much equal, but it's not because of the ERPPC. We've lost six heat sinking. Can pull up the tag. No, I think we're going to leave it. Going to confirm that. I'm going to going to cut and run on our losses there. We got lucky. This Panther really wasn't working for me, so we have a chance to change it now. Look at the loss on this thing. Crazy. We are going to ditch anything that has ammo. Um, leave the tag for now. We're going to need an arm. I don't think we can use an arm hand. Whoops, wrong. Should we hear? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So, cockpit's fine. Uh, engine... How heavy is this? 14 and a half tons. It's way too much. I don't think we have an XL. We got a clan XL, which we can use, so let's do that. Um, it's going to help a little bit. We're going to drop in regular endo steel. I'm afraid of losing it now. Um, I don't think we have any gyros. Got the Artemis here. We're going to set up on the. Uh, So what can we do here? We can do a ballistic setup. We can try for an AC-10 or something. We got what? Don't got a lot of ton tonnage left. We've got less than 10 tons. Um, AC-2 is kind of a waste of time. AC-5 Ultra is what? 9 tons. We could squeak out enough to get just use this, but that's not going to work for us. We've got one missile rack. Um, we pick up the clan LRM-10? Did we? No, we didn't take the clan LRM-10. That was the thing, right? We wanted to, but we didn't. So I could put a regular LRM-10 in. Hmm. Maybe we'll leave the LRMs for um, the trebuchet. So we got two clan ER large lasers. And we've got one La three laser hard points. Where are the other two? Two in the center. I mean, technically, we could put two of these guys in, and then just the rest with heat sinking, or we could put one of these guys in, maybe in the center torso. Um, but then we've also got this large laser triple plus, right? Accuracy and evasion ignore for five tons. Maybe we'll do that. It's slightly less heat. We'd have to put heat sinks in anyway. So we're heat neutral now, pretty much. Um, and what else? Do we want to go the flamer route? I mean, with the Fusion Core 270, we've got really good speed. We could go with vehicle flamers. I, well, we don't. We, whatever we do, we can only get one flamer in here, right? Then it's all ballistic and missile, and I don't know if we want to go that route. So what if we put flamer, uh, the good flamer in the CT, and the other flamer with bonus accuracy in the side torso, pull the heat sink down to the leg, and then our armor is completely maxed out. We can lose one, two points, because we don't have our armor anymore. You can put the reflective armor in. Energy resistance. Uh, we don't have any ECM suites. Maybe we didn't just drop three heat sinks in. Tag can stay in the arm. So I'm thinking this is what we have to do with this guy. So we have a large laser for distance weapon with bonus accuracy and a couple of flamers to help out height in close. I think we'll confirm with this. That's all we can really do. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. 
So, yeah, that's the end of this episode. Uh, wow, could have been a lot worse, I guess. But um, the fact that we were able to take on, you know, three heavy mechs, uh, two medium mechs, and a bunch of heavy vehicles, or, yeah, and a bunch of vehicles, is a really good thing. So, next time we can try uh, two-star or two-skull uh, contracts. So, Circinifus Federation signed a non-aggression pact with Lothian League, non-aggression pact with o Oberon Confederation. 300,000. So we're really going to have to push ourselves next time to get some cash. Because um, we're getting close to bankrupt again. But uh, let's have a quick look at our mech warriors before we leave. Just to see if we got any more skills here. Uh, blank square, nothing. Flatliner. Mm, we could go with piloting our guts. Guts for extra health because now I'm concerned. Actually, let's do both. Guts and piloting. Get some unsteady threshold on them. Um, yes, ground zero, we have the ability now to do a called shot bonus and give them view distance, which we want to do. Um, height has the ability to get lower minimum range, which doesn't really help them at all. So we're going to leave it. We're going to work on the piloting to get some more evasion. Uh, payroll, I need you with more gunnering. That's what I need. And then van skater. Okay, good. We got enough for our piloting here because... Um, we were talking about um, getting him to be more evasive um, and be a hit and run artist. So that's what we're going to do with this guy. We're going to confirm this. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, cool. So that's the end of this episode, and uh, we'll see you all next time.